this is this is this is a factual show, the we don't know show. Yes. We, there's a lot of things we don't know, but we do say what we don't know, which includes how to work the CD player at this time, as the audience has realised probably. Um, but we we don't we try to deal in fact, whereas on the drama show there's quite a lot of fiction mm. and making things up. But um, also, I'm trying to promote Central Exeter as a steam village to map Bet onto Exeter. Bet being the um, ed tech show for schools, which is gradually moving into higher education and further education, well, everything, really. Home learning, lifelong learning, everything's represented there, I think. John, you, d you didn't come this year, but you've been previously. Yes. And you've met Russell Prue and Bet Radio, mm -hmm. so you know you know what I'm going on about there. Yes. Um, and I think actually, when you when you came, they still had a steam village. Right. They had uh, that's to say, STEM is science, technology, engineering, and maths. And the A is for arts. And so, uh, I think. Well, just gradually, the, the the sort of the range of support in schools doesn't seem to be there, so they 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 drop things out. Can I say that? I think, well, like um, special educational needs, definitely, there's less and less of that, and that's because there's less and less budget in the schools. That's my take on it. But I think steam, it sort of comes and goes, so I wouldn't like to say it's disappeared. STEM is still there, so this year. Uh, there definitely was a STEM area, but the 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 effort to put the arts into that discussion, it's challenged. I'm going to say I'm going to say it's challenged, but we'll see how that works out. But um, what I've what I've done again, this is sort of mix, mixing things up a bit. That it just so happens that Tech Exeter have a breakfast meeting sort of networking event uh, on the first Thursday of each month which is the same time as the drama show but I've just been playing something that's 40 minutes long or 50 minutes long or the whole show or something and going over to the innovation hub and then coming back again and that's got a couple of aspects to it one is to show that that's possible so the idea of a 15... Well, there's the 15-minute city, which I'll talk about another time, but the 15-minute village or steam village is like the space of um, Excel. It's actually, if you... It's possibly further from one corner of, of Bet to another corner of Bet, from the HE ahead by Bet area to the speaker lounge Bet radio corner. This would probably take longer than it would to get over to the Innovation Hub where Tech Exeter meet. Um, so just to give a, an idea of a space, but also to explore how art fits in with, with tech. Let's just, just talk about tech, because it is Tech Exeter there. And there's, so the, the, the Innovation Hub is just a tech space, and then... Phoenix and Phonic is an art space and the idea of that is to have conversations as part of a walk between the two spaces um, but last Saturday in Princess Hay I came across a, a, a stand by I think, I think it was Devon Beekeepers was the organisers of it and it's about the Asian Hornet which is a very real problem because uh, they seem to get more active in the summertime. I think that's that's the basis of it. And it does tie in with beekeeping, which is a very large part of this um, Humble Boy play. So I think I think this is a good example of of steam. There's a lot of other science ideas in Humble Boy. Well, you've heard about um, an integrated total theory or something I know string theory comes into it but let's let's just keep it practical what is the science of beekeeping uh, pollination and 
what can be done about the Asian hornet? I think if we're if on the can I is it fair to say, John? At the moment, we know nothing about the Asian hornet. If you want to say that, you well, want to welcome you. <laughs> well, John, have you got any starting views? No, that? no, I haven't got any starting views. That's why I'm not commenting. It's not my, it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not my forte, really. No, well, I, c- I can agree. I don't know, I don't know anything about. Um, I've got a postcard, which has got pictures here, and I can see that the the European hornet is about three times as big as a wasp or a honeybee. And the Asian hornet's about the same size, but it's a different shape. Um, and I think at this point, I'm just going to say, you can you can you can download the Asian hornet watch app. So just search for Asian hornet watch, or uh, nonnativespecies.org forward slash Asian hornet is one place to report it, or else the nationalbeeunit.com or telephone 0300 I think I'm going to stick to that or we'll search put the Asian reporting Asian hornet might find might find the right spot for it but um, the th- the, what I gathered from the stand in print to say was that at the moment it it's it's a problem in the UK, but it's not out of control. Whereas they're they're definitely spreading from Asia into Europe, which is obviously a bit easier. But they they they're hitchhiking on lorries. It's not it's not just the wind, and the cold summer's not necessarily a bad thing from their point of view, because a lot of Asia gets very cold, quite cold. So that's that's all I discovered about them. Um, John, do you want, do you want to play a, a track now? Can do. I think I've I've explained both about the play and this this reality. Okay, I'm going to play "Sun" by Mitch Russell. <laughs> 